Brian, you work with so many uh, associates and so many practice owners, but do you think all chiropractors should open up their own practice? Okay. So Dr. Parks, first of all, let me say, uh, awesome question. I'm slightly hesitant to answer this question um, because of, if you will, let, let me rather say this. In my past, I've always wanted to talk about this, but I've been slightly hesitant because of the perceived self-interest I may appear to have with the answer. But let me assure you that what I'm about to tell you right now, I don't know if there's anyone just about in the profession who's had quite the experience I've had with both associates and so many practice owners. So let's just call, call it what it is. I have zero self-interest or zero interest in, in giving you an opinion either way because I benefit from both people being associates or chiropractors being associates as well as chiropractors own their own practice. I have a business in both those worlds. So our first thing I say before anyone calls me on, yes, Ryan, of course you'd say that because. Here's the truth. The short, the short answer is absolutely not. I absolutely, with every bone in my body, all my heart, believe that not every single chiropractor should open their own practice. It is a ludicrous scenario where we, I mean, if you think about it, in most industries, you are you're very much warned about the fact that you should be absolutely ready to open your own business. Next, most industries are warned very, very aggressively about the fact that most businesses fail. I don't even know the statistics anymore. It's such a cliche to even mean, mention the statistics. But if you're watching this, you've probably known about the fact that, I don't know, 80% of practices fail within the first, or not practices, businesses fail within the two, first two years, et cetera, et cetera, within 10 years. It's like, a, it's, statistically, it is a big call to open any business. Having said that, here is the truth. The truth is, statistics aside, what really matters is happy. Someone being happy. And having worked with as many associates as I have, there are certain associates and certain people that are destined to be business owners. Let's forget about a practice for one second. And for those people, everything almost, I, you even, I've been in this position before and some, you know, I've had associates in this position before. I would go as far as to say that I've had some of the busiest associates I've ever worked with who I have said, it's time for you to open your own practice because you're making more, probably more money you're going to make for a long time here than you will in your own practice, but almost nothing I'm ever gonna do is gonna meet your expectations. Why is that an important statement? Because they just gotta go fulfill a different element of their lives, as I did. So, let me take you to my journey. I was an associate first, and then I went and opened my own practice. I was an associate for two years, and then opened my own practice. That served me tremendously well. But I am unemployable. I am unemployable, okay, in my world. So I went through that process, I learned a ton, I owe so much to those practices I was associated in, and I then went and opened my own business and then scaled that to nine sites. At that pivotal point of going from an associate to open your own practice, there is a compromise, there is a loss. So most people will earn less money in the short period so that they think they're gonna own the thing. Most people are prepared to take that sacrifice because of the bigger dream or goal. In business, those things are often not aligned. Like what you think it's gonna be and what it actually is are completely different things. Because you wouldn't possibly have the context that it is gonna be what it is because you've never done it, you've never been there, you've never had to be responsible for rental and payroll and all very, very challenging things on a daily, day, on a daily basis, ongoing for the rest of your life. The first two years of running a practice are the easiest two years of your life. Here's why I tell you this. You've got energy, you've got purpose, and you've got, it's new. And anything new, and you're learning tons. I say, um, Tony Robbins did a whole study on happiness. And one of the single biggest things that was associated with happiness was growth. So in the first two years of your practice, you've grown, everything's new. Even payroll's new. Hiring an accountant's new. Everything's new. It's exciting. It's fresh. It's easy to have good energy. It's after two, three, four, five, ten years that the context changes completely. So here is 
my answer, my direct answer to you, Dr. Parks, and anyone watching this right now, and I truly believe, first of all, I thank you for the, thank you for the question, because I truly believe that if someone's watching this right now, I'm gonna save you so much pain, and I'm gonna help you be happier. And in many cases, earn more money. And in many cases, serve more people. So there is no right answer. The answer is you need to be open to the fact that there are, there's a self-awareness thing, that there are definitely people that are happy as associates than they ever will be open their own practice. But we live in a very funny industry, which I'll get to in a moment. Then there are definitely people that are gonna be happier and earn more money opening their own practice, right? You have to figure that out. Now, why I believe that we have a very tough time figuring it out because at every single conference, ultimately the speaker on stage says, hey, where are my practice owners? And everyone puts up their hand and everybody else feels less than. And that's wrong. The, my lesson with working with so many associates is not only are they happier when they're associates sometimes, but they serve better and they make a massive difference in people's lives. And they have no difference between an associate and someone that owns their own practice. They're not better, they haven't achieved more. And in many times, the person who's chosen to be a associate is more self-aware than the practice owner. Because often they're just following the crowd, if you will. And why does that happen? So first of all, if you're an associate currently and you're considering whether you want to open your practice, you want to ask yourself, first of all, are you doing it because everyone, the perception out there is that you've made it when you open your own practice? It couldn't be further from the truth, by the way. Or you're doing it because you're naturally entrepreneurial. Or you're doing it because that was always your dream to open your practice. But self-awareness is the big thing. So, associates many times will then go into that world because we don't have a well-trodden path to being, like many other industries, to being an associate, a partner, etc. So they think like their only option is to go open their own practice and it often doesn't fulfill them with what they want it to be fulfilled with. That needs to be, that needs, we need to dive a deep in that, into that. If you're an accountant, it is a well-trodden path that you're an associate for a period of time. Like no one looks at an accountant and goes, you haven't made it when you don't open your own, when you don't own your own practice. No, they, it's normal for accountants to work in a firm, right? Same for lawyers and solicitors. It's normal for accountants to work in a firm, make amazing money, serve amazingly well, and not be thought of less than. Our industry is weirdly different, is that the big dream is to open your own practice. And I think that needs to be redefined. The big dream needs to be happy. The big dream needs to be make yourself happy. That's what the big dream needs to be. So, stop. Johnny, I'm just filming a podcast. Let's go to something. Just, Johnny. No, but you can't shout out here. Sorry, I was mid sense. Sorry, I should have put a camera. We should, we need to listen. So close the doors, please, and whatever. Okay. I'm trying to pick up the eyes. It needs to be happy. Ah, oh, I can't pick up my eyes. So pick thing with this is we need to be happy. Um, you might have to just cut this up a little bit. If you go from um, in the industry, the big dream is to have their own practice. Okay, cool. So in the industry, the big dream is to open your own practice. Defined by other people, not by us. And I really think we need to redefine that based on happiness. It's not whether you open your own practice or not. It's what are you going to be happier doing? Are you going to be happier being an associate or opening your own practice? And the truth is you don't really know right now. So be open to that. In my experience, and make less money than they ever made as an associate and be less happier than they ever were opening their own practice. That is, hap that is a well-trodden path. That is not a theory of mine. That is fact. I've also seen the opposite happen where people have opened their own practice, made less money, but were happier. That's important. It's not just about money. It's about being happy, right? But I think we don't talk enough about that in the industry. So go circling all the way back to the question is it all depends on the end goal. And the end goal is not to be, a, not to simply open your own practice, it's to be happy. Once you define that and once you go to those factors, then you're going to make a better, more well-defined uh, decision based on that.